welcome back. In my video about luminosity mask versus blend ranges, I explained why sometimes luminosity masks are useful. So, if we have applied a blend range, can we convert it to a luminosity mask? Yes, of course we can. Let me show you. Here is the easiest method. Let's have a look at this document. The recolor adjustment at the top of the layer panel has a blend range. If we look at the blend range, it specifies that the recolor adjustment should only be applied to the dark areas. The recolor itself removes all the lightness, making sure everything gets black. In other words, this adjustment will make all dark areas gradually move to black. If I enable this recolor adjustment, you can see that this is indeed the case. The dark areas have been darkened very close to black and the bright areas are untouched, which by the way creates a very nice contrasty image. So, how can we create a luminosity mask which has exactly the same effect as the blend range we applied on the recolor adjustment? Let's first start by disabling the recolor adjustment. Next, we want to have a base layer on which the luminosity mask should be based on. Easiest way for this is by right clicking on the layers panel and then selecting merge visible. This will create a new pixel layer of what is visible and will be our base layer for creating the mask. Let's continue by adding a white fill layer below the created layer. I will explain in a second. Now let's add a curves layer and set the alpha to zero. If you remember, I did a video on the alpha zero blend range method. Basically, we're duplicating that method here. By adding this curves layer, the whole document will become transparent. If I move the curves layer to the base layer we created, it will only make that layer transparent and the white layer will now be shown. So what we have achieved right now is that everything we make transparent in this layer will show up as white. And this was exactly the reason why I added the white fill layer. On the curves layer, we can now set a blend range. Let's have a look at the blend range of the recolor and apply the same blend range on the curves layer. What we are saying right now is to make the, only the dark areas transparent. Because we have a white layer below, you can immediately see what the blend range is affecting. Pretty cool. Now, there is one thing missing in order to make this a mask. Everything which is not transparent should be black. We can do this by adding an HSL above the curve layer. If we now set the lightness all the way to the left, everything will get black, except the transparent areas. What we see right now is exactly the mask we are looking for. Before I continue, let me try to explain what is happening. The HSL adjustment we applied turned everything black. I can show this by turning off the curves layer. However, the curves layer was processed first and it has a blend range. And the area affected by this blend range has become transparent. For the HSL adjustment, the transparent areas just do not exist and only the visible pixels will be turned into black. And with the white layer below, the combination of black and transparent gives us exact result we are looking for. Now if we group these two layers, we have basically our mask. If we right click on this group in the layers panel and press rasterize to mask, we are done. We have converted a blend range to a mask. We can then apply this mask to any layer we want. If I option click on this mask, we can see the mask. Let me undo this and show you an even easier way to create the mask. But before I do that, here is a bonus tip. 
If you add a curves layer in the group, you can even further customize your mask. Just change the curve to include more of the whites or more of the blacks. Pretty neat, right? Okay, so here is another way of creating the mask. Just command option click on the group and you will get a selection which contains the mask. If I now apply the same recolor adjustment with this selection, a mask is automatically created. This way, we also do not lose the original group. We can always use this group again to create another mask or even change the blend range and create a totally new mask. That's it, easy peasy. We created a mask from a blend range. If I now hide the selection and the group, you see we get exactly the same result as the initial recolor adjustment with the blend range. If you are interested why the luminosity mask is needed, keep watching. I will show you the difference of a blend range and a luminosity mask. Ok, we now have two layers doing exactly the same. Before I continue, let me add two additional masks to see the results side by side. I'm just going to create two rectangles and position one to the left and the other to the right. And now apply them as masks for the two adjustments by dragging and dropping next to their layer icon. This now creates a good way to see both adjustments at the same time. As you see, the effect is exactly the same on both sides. A good way to test both of them is to add a brightness and contrast adjustment. We can do this by using the channels panel, but we can also use the layers menu. Time to start testing. If I increase the brightness slowly, you start noticing the difference. The recolor with the luminosity mask on the left keeps the darks dark, whereas the recolor with the blend range loses its effect, as there is not much dark left in the layer below. Let's try another adjustment. For example, a selective color adjustment for a more extreme difference. Let me disable the brightness adjustment and add the selective color adjustment. In the selective color adjustment, I will go to the blacks and decrease the values of the blacks. You can immediately see the effect. The recolor with the blend range has nothing to work on anymore, so it can't do its job. The recolor with the luminosity mask still works like a charm. By changing the yellow and the cyan, you can see that on the left side we have created a very nice color effect. However, on the right, it's a total mess. If you're going to change layers below a blend range effect, this is exactly why you would need a luminosity mask. I hope this was informative for you and thanks again for watching.